and the sign of our faith. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Amen. We gather God's holy people. We gather as his sons, his brothers, his sisters, his daughters. So great and awesome is the love of our God. And we will hear in our first reading from the Old Testament that God's way is to call us to eternal life, to break through any of the brokenness the sinfulness that is ours, and to begin again. Let us take a moment now in the silence of our hearts and renew that covenant with the Lord who's ever faithful. Simply ask for the forgiveness of sins that we may reconcile and celebrate this Eucharist with great joy. Heavenly Father, you sent your Son into the world for the forgiveness of sin. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you reveal the love of the Father from the wood of the cross. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. O Holy Spirit, come. Dwell in and sanctify our souls. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. We offer this Mass for many young children who are sick, maybe those present and those who are dear to us. O oh God, who chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, foremost among the poor and humble, to be the mother of the Savior, grant, we pray, that following her example, we may offer you the homage of sincere faith and place in you all our hope of salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.
A reading from the book of Judges. The Spirit of the Lord came on Jephthah, who crossed Gilead and Manasseh, passed through Mizpah in Gilead, and from Mizpah and Gilead made his way to the rear of the Ammonites. And Jephthah made a vow to the Lord. If you deliver the Amorites into my hands, then the first person to meet you, to meet me from the door of my house when I return in triumph from fighting the Amorites shall belong to the Lord, and I will offer him up as a holocaust. Jephthah marched against the Ammonites to attack them, and the Lord delivered them into his power. He harassed them from Aor almost to Mineth, 20 towns, and to Elbel Karaman. It was a very severe defeat, and the Ammonites were humbled before the Israelites. As Jephthah returned to his house at Mizpah, his daughter came out from it to meet him. She was dancing to the sound of timbrels. This was his only child. Apart from her, he had neither son nor daughter. When he saw her, he tore his clothes and exclaimed, O oh my daughter, what sorrow you are bringing me. Must it be you, the cause of my ill fortune? I have given a promise to the Lord, and I cannot unsay what I have said. She answered him, My father, you have given a promise to the Lord. Treat me as the vow you took binds you to, since the Lord has given you vengeance on your enemies, the Ammonites. Then she said to her father, Grant me one request. Let me be free for two months. I shall go and wander in the mountains and with my companions bewail my virginity. He said, go, and let her depart for two months. So she went away with her companions and bewailed her virginity in the mountains. When the two months were over, she returned to her father, and he treated her as the vow he had uttered bound him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Responsorial Psalm. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord and has not gone over to the rebels who follow false gods. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. You do not ask for sacrifice and offerings, but an open ear. You do not ask for holocaust and victim. Instead, here I am. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the scroll of the book, it stands written that I should do your will. My God, I delight in your law in the depth of my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Your justice I have proclaimed in the great assembly. My lips I have not sealed. You know it, O oh Lord. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Alleluia. Make me 
grasp the way of your precepts, and I will muse on your wonders. Alleluia. be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times. Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property, in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him demanding, pay back what you owe me. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had the fellow servants put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, you wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you, unless each of you forgives his brother from his heart. When Jesus finished these words, he left Galilee and went to the district of Judea, across the Jordan. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> There was a young man who stood before a jury and judge for a heinous crime that he had committed. And it was a universal decision of the jury that was given to the judge that the crime could only be paid by his life, by a decision of death. The judge was visibly moved by this decision and you could see in absolute silence he sat just probing and gazing at this young man before him, looking into his eyes, and certainly seeing the fright and fear of this decision that his young life would be taken from him for this crime. The judge eventually stood up and recognizing that this crime had consequences, that in fact it had taken the life of innocent victims and left their families without these young ones. He too consented and confirmed that the decision would be 
his death. Then standing, he disrobed, stepped down from the tribunal and looked right into the eyes of this young man. And he said, son, your actions have had consequences. And you know as your father, I love you very much. Through the tears, he embraced his son and whispered into his ears, he said, I will give you a second chance. Please do not waste it. With seeming delight, the young man just began to fill with greater joy. And the judge did request that the officers release him. And then the young son heard his father say, I now request that you accept my life for his. Forgiveness is a very difficult reality. It's one of the hardest things we do as Catholic men and women. It's what we teach our children still at home. And yet it, it defines whether we truly are Christian or we are hypocrites. Our Lady calls us not only to forgiveness of the sins of others, but then to pray and to make sacrifice, to offer a penance for our sisters and brothers. Many of us do struggle and once we fail forgiveness, like Jesus gives the example of the Son in the Gospel, we just go our way. We go our way often without gratitude, without remorse, and without extending that same divine mercy given to us to our brothers and sisters around us. Our Lady calls us to a deeper love, understanding of the message of Fatima. It is a prayer for the conversion of hearts. It is a prayer that all one day will stop offending God our Father and come to recognize what he has done for us through his son. But it first begins with my conversion, with your conversion. It first begins when I stand before the Lord and recognize that I'm not perfect. I'm yet to be conformed to Jesus Christ, my Lord. The church born from the sacred side of the Lord gives us a sacrament of confession. Here it is celebrated so well, so many times, and certainly even in our home parishes and dioceses. But we're called to live the sacrament of confession with a greater joy, a greater sincerity, and certainly with more regularity so that we can look not only at our griefs and grave sins, but even our venial sins, to look at the ways in which even our dispositions, our tendencies to hurt or to sin need to be conformed and changed. We come to the sanctuary because we have saints. Saints among us, saints canonized in the life of the church. And so I invite you in the time of prayer throughout the days that you are here to ask Jacinta and Francisco in a particular way. By their example of humility, sacrifice, penance, and prayer, by changing their own lives, that you will ask for the grace to forgive. And so I invite you at this very moment, ask the Lord to reveal to you one person in your life you have not forgiven. Young, old, spouse, child, family, stranger, with you here, you haven't seen them in years, they may be deceased. Ask for the grace in this Mass to forgive that one person, that you too may be free, that you may walk away with the, the refreshment of the grace of the Lord, that you may walk away in the light of Jesus Christ, that you may now walk into the world and truly offer your prayer and your penance for the conversion of others. Let us stand now as we turn to our Heavenly Father and ask that he may hear our prayers, we who are his humble sons and daughters.
Abba Father, in your goodness, you have given us the life of the church. We ask for your favored blessings on our Holy Father, Pope Francis, on our Bishop Antonio, the bishops of the world, that with great humility and courage, with great faithfulness, they may lead and shepherd us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, you have created young men and women to be the saints of a new generation. May you sanctify the young people here present, those of our families and those throughout the world, that they may be the saints of a new generation. We pray to the Lord. Lord Heavenly Father, you elevate family life and you sanctify it. May you bless families here, husbands and wives, parents and children, that you may reconcile families that are struggling in any way. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our Lord, we ask that you may bless all those who have gathered here in the intentions they have in the silence of their hearts. For all the faithful, that by obeying the appeals of Mary in a spirit of true penance and prayer, that may work wholeheartedly for the renewal of the world and for the kingdom of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who exercise sacred ministry in the church, that they may be attentive to the word of God, love it, and proclaim it with fidelity and enthusiasm, mm -hmm. as Mary did. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who govern nations, that they may work for justice and peace in the world, and harmoniously collaborate in the just distribution of earthly goods among all the inhabitants of the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who suffer, that in union with Mary, consoler of the afflicted, in the loving care of others, and in the contemplation of the cross of Christ, they may find courage to face life we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us here present and for our families of East English-speaking countries, that by the intercession of Mary, those who seek Christ may find him. Sinners may be converted. Young people may open their hearts with enthusiasm to the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And may all these prayers heard <clears throat> through the intercessions of the Blessed Virgin Mary be brought to the throne of her Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who is our King forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. And let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice and your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our and for the law of the soul of the church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the feast and the celebrations of the Blessed Ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son. And without your only gift of losing her glory or virginity, has brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together without exaltation as we turn in praise and we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, spouse of the Virgin Mary, with the blessed apostles, 
with Saints Jacinta and Francesco and Venerable Lucia and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, for the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Ad news day. Creator is peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Alus Dei, Creator is peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Alus Dei, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word of my soul.
Let us pray. Having received the pledge of redemption and of life, we humbly pray, O Lord, that with the Blessed Virgin's motherly aid, your church may teach all nations by proclaiming the gospel, and through the grace of the outpouring of the Spirit, fill the whole earth through Christ our Lord. Amen. We now again join together as sisters and brothers in the Jubilee prayer of consecration. There have been handed out. We will recite it in English. If you have it in another language, you are certainly most welcome to pray. And so we pray together. Hail Mother of the Lord, Virgin Mary, Queen of the Rosary of God. Blessed among all women, you are the image of the church dressed in the paschal white. You are the honor of our people. You are the triumph over the mark of evil. Prophecy of the merciful love of the Father. Teacher of the Annunciation of the Good News of the Son. Sign of the burning fire of the Holy Spirit. Teach us in this valley of joys and sorrows. The eternal truths that the Father reveals to the little ones. Show us the strength of your mantle of perfection. In your immaculate heart, be the refuge of sinners and the way that leads to God. In unity with my brethren, in faith, hope, and love, I surrender myself to you. In unity with my brethren, through you, I consecrate myself to God, O Virgin of the Rosary of Fatima. And thus, surrounded by the light that comes from your hands, I will give glory to the Lord forever. Again, we invite you to consider one person you need to forgive, and maybe one that you need to ask of forgiveness, so that the grace of the Lord truly may fill you with joy. And again, we thank you for offering your prayers in this Mass, in a particular way for the children who are very sick. May the Lord... Uh, we invite you to your religious items. If you have them with you, you can certainly hold them up or know that if they're in bags or pockets or gifts or wrapped, that they will be blessed. Let us pray. Abba Father, you give us these items to draw us more deeply into the faith of your son, Jesus Christ. May you bless them for all those who use them for devotion and prayer and for all those who are prayed for through them. May they receive the infinite grace of eternal life May they receive the grace to live each and every day as your disciple. We ask this in your holy name and through the powerful intercessions of the Blessed Virgin Mary and the children of Fatima. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And may the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May you have a tremendous afternoon and may Almighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in heaven with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave Maria. 